Good morning, everyone. What's going on? Welcome to the Sumi Shades Beautiful. We've got a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a Subi smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here, for clicking into our video, and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're watching from, you're drinking something cold, sit in a comfy chair, ready for a shave. I know I could use one. I've got just over 48 hours of growth, and we're gonna be um, spotlighting, showcasing, and talking about this razor right here. Take a look. This is the Metaphor, an all stainless steel. Um, it's a three piece standard day, um, safety razor offered by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. And uh, it comes to your house in a, like a factory finish, CNC finish. And I have gone to the effort to polish it, to spend a little elbow grease and to get it to that more presentation level. I, it does remove some of the logoing on the actual razor. But as you can see, this it shimmers, it shines. You can see this thing from the moon. Today, we're going to talk about it. We're going to showcase how this thing shaves after the polish work. We're going to talk about if there's any differences. And I, I, again, we're just going to kind of cover some life updates, kind of review some of the things coming on, uh, in the near future and I, and also just talk a little bit about this again I am not using the Douglas um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement bomber handle instead we're going to be using a timeless handle because the razors from timeless right with their scallops I think really complement the crown handle I wanted to lower the weight of this razor overall I love the way that this turned out and the way that the final assembled pro, um, razor looks it's going to be awesome I'm super excited to be using this today with you guys on channel it's going to be great we're also going to be kind of revisiting we're talking about Passiflora. This is a uh, soap from B. Barrister and Man. This was released a lot, quite a while ago, probably about a year ago, in this um, kind of label. They now offer in a different label. It is still the Omnibus, as you can see here. It's still the Omnibus base, just with a different. This was their limited edition, I, I guess, is the way they're um, kind of pre uh, presenting it. I was under the, the understanding when they made this that it was kind of a one off. They were going to be redoing it. It looks like it's become more of a staple now over at B uh, Barrister and Man, and they are offering it. Um, to my nose, just off the top of the puck here, I don't get as much cinnamon. And that's what kind of blows my mind is when I'm smelling this, right? They say it's kind of a spicy foo share scent, right? You got passion fruit. It's right there. I mean, it's, it, you can smell it. But then you also got cinnamon um, playing in there with lavender. You have um, galbanum that's making it kind of a greener, kind of a soapier scent. And then you've got things like Tonka bean, bergamot, you've got so many different notes in this. For my nose specifically, I, what I'm getting out of this is like a very fruity tone. Um, I, I, I like it. It's green with a little bit of that passion fruit fruit. Um, you do get a little bit of the floral notes as well that complement it. But I'd say overall, it, for me, it almost is borderline um, gourmand with the scent profile. It does smell a little bit sweet, a little bit tart. And I do think it does smell like fruit, like the passion fruit, right? Passa Flora. Now, what kind of blew my mind here is the actual splash on this does not smell quite as um, much like the passion fruit, but more like the cinnamon. I get a lot more cinnamon out of the splash. It's weird. The cinnamon's there. There's a, like a, a, a big floral presence. And then the, I, I would say you, you do get like a little bit of green. But for my, for my nose, the fuchsia really comes out of the splash. Really interesting how something can kind of change over time. I'm not sure if it's the actual change in the um, ingredients or if it's just that my splash is a little bit more of the cinnamon note. But I do get a lot more cinnamon out of the splash than I do this lather. And as you can see, the lather from the Omnibus was always really spectacular spectacular, very shiny, very slick, very hydrated, um, and very easy to maintain, especially with the water band. It goes for days. You can see a lot of protection. It paints on really easy, very, very um, pillowy, soft, but very slick. You can see right, you, as it goes on, it gets really, really slick. And I did that with my Mojo. This is a Mojo signature brush that I absolutely love. And I just felt like it really paired well with their soap and with their label. Right? I just thought I liked that and I wanted to use it. I think it turned out really, really good. All right, let's get in here. Let's talk about the Metaphor. It's a razor that I actually missed um, when they released this a while back. I actually didn't buy one, right? I didn't get on there fast enough and they sold out. And then I had to wait for like an eternity level of time to get my hands on one. And then when I got here, I was so darn excited, right? I, I was going through, I opened up the package and I'm sitting there, I'm like, 
the handle and the head cap don't match, right? And that bothered me, it irritated me, it kind of bugged me. The scallops on this are absolutely gorgeous, right? This is designed uh, kind of as a homage, a tribute to the Kirby Blade Co. razors that were like allegedly created by Loresh. Um, you can see that they were true to the razor pretty much all the way through, other than the way that they added the um, like the bars to secure the blade a little bit better, right? Modern tolerances. And then they've also added a little bit of extra length to the head cap so it protects the blade tabs. And when I say a little bit of extra length, it really is quite quite a bit. Um, I, I just wanted to grab a couple other razors and you can see this is the carbon. It was designed after the tech um, by Sean over at Carbon and this is their CX titanium razor. As you can see here, look at the difference in size. This is way longer, but when you look at the width, Look at how thin and small and like really like almost vintage that cap is compared to the um, the tech or like the carbon razor. You see this very very narrow cap on this really makes it so that it has um, the ability to get into tight spots. I grabbed the ghost because it's like a like a pretty it's like a seventy as far as the um, gap goes, and you can just see look at how much different this is compared to this. Really really I think is focused. It really pays honor to the vintage razor that it was modeled after. I love this. It's weird. It's kind of wild. The way that the blade goes into the actual head cap, you can see how much exposure is um, kind of hidden. And I think you kind of, it kind of is deceiving the way that it feels across the skin because you end up getting a little bit more of the actual sides here than you do the blade. The blade is completely masked by these side posts where you're not feeling anything, but it has a lot of efficiency. This feels like to me, like when I used to like Franken raise things together where it's not supposed to have a DE blade in there, but it does. That's kind of how this, the way it has felt the last two shaves I've used it for. I really like this. It's wild. Um, I think it's actually going to replace my Eclipse razor, uh, the, the Quantum razor from Doug, because of the way that this fills. It's very smooth, very forgiving, almost no blade fill to it. It is a little large. You have to kind of get used to the head cap, but once you kind of dial that in, it's awesome. What a really cool shaver. And I think with the mirror on that, you can just tell that this thing kind of reflects light weird. It definitely reflects light differently than the timeless scalloped um, cap. When you look at this, it kind of zigzags. It has like eight, I, I believe there's eight different little cutouts there. And the way that they kind of like interact with the light is kind of crazy. It goes back and forth, it shimmers, and I, it really kind of um, manipulates things across the surface wildly. Really cool, I like the way it plays together with the scallop on the bar. Really cool razor, and I'm, I'm excited the way it turned out with the polish work. Um, again, that was just with the Dremel and with a little bit of green paste. And before you go out and you make all the purchases and you're like, Subi, I've got this. I just want to call this out, caveat, sidestep, that when you're polishing razors, you could um, theoretically take them out of tolerance. You can break them. You can make them so that they no longer function as they should. So when I polish this, I only polish the surfaces that you see, none of the ones that interact with the blade. And I, don't, I never touch those surfaces that interact with the blade because I don't want to throw things out of whack. So it is the, the stock tolerances that they ship the razor with underneath here. But as far as the eye can see, it's polished. I really like this. And again, there was um, some scallops that you would, uh, some little CNC marks that you would see across this bar here. I did polish those, but if you get really close, I don't even know if I can do it on camera, but under um, magnification, you can see some slight stippling across where the, um, the cap ends. And I left that there because that tells me the razor's still in tolerance even though it's been polished. Oh, so my eyes like, ooh, that's shiny and nice. But at the very, very microscopic level, right under magnification, you can still get those CNC marks. And in my opinion, that's how um, a great polish should be, right? In my opinion, that, that's again, my opinion in the fact, but it does keep the tolerance is tight while allowing for a razor to be perfectly polished, at least if you're a novice, right? Like me, where I'm doing it at home, I'm not an expert and I'm not a, like a professional. And I think that's, a, in my opinion, how you should be polishing. And I do want to call it out that if you're kind of experiencing this for the first time, start with something you don't love. <laughs> that's my one tip and recommendation. Start with something you don't love that you wouldn't mind not being able to use anymore because sometimes when, when you're learning to polish, it can definitely come at a cost. All right, let's start some shaving. And I just want to get in here and just kind of, um, just kind of just go back and forth with everybody here. Um, it's been a wonderful, absolutely incredible journey with the channel. We have done so many different reviews. We've experienced so many, um, kind of ups and downs as far as, um, great shaves and shaves that I believe, you know, should never have shipped from the manufacturer the way they did. Um, we've talked about a bunch of things from single edge razors using double edge safety razor blades before it was really popular to now where there's razors all in the market all over the place that offer half the easy razor blade um, 
um, kind of like insertation, like performance wise on a single edge razor, right? We're seeing that more and more. It's been it's such an awesome adventure. Um, and it's kind of coming to a space where I'm not sure where the channel is going to go. And I want to just really call that out. Make sure everybody that didn't hear me hears me. Um, I am going to be moving. Uh, my, my life has become much, much more um, kind of like all over the place. I am moving from the place I've been for the last like oh, years. It's, it, it's We're moving to a new place. It's far away and we're not really sure what things are going to look like. So this space that you're seeing is changing. I don't know if it's going to be accommodating or uh, like really um, something I can continue to do the channel with. I am currently searching for housing that will be for minimal, you know, that will be like um, acceptable for the, what we do here. And I want everybody to know that this, my, my long-term goal for the channel is not for it to end. I love doing this here because I, getting shaves with everybody is just something that I've, I've grown really passionate about. I've loved being able to help people find wet shaving and I've liked kind of taking my own approach to the craft, right? I know it doesn't fit everybody and people that tune in, um, I just want you to know how much I do appreciate you because there's a lot of people, right? And a lot of different channels out there and forums for uh, wet shaving. And I know that your time is um, it's limited. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you that spend the time every single week here and have made our channel a priority, whether that is using our links to purchase things whether that is showing your support and love by revisiting old videos, um, or if it's just going over to my Instagram, right, with, on some of the photos that I post, because I spend a lot of time on my photos, right? I, li I like that aspect of it, and having you guys come out and say, hey, I like this. I just want to just thank you, every single one of you, for doing that. You've been awesome. The journey has wouldn't have been the same without you guys, all right? and it wouldn't have continued. And uh, honestly, I, I really hope that I'm able to find a spot that will allow for us to not only continue, but to get better. That's my goal, right? I've really um, made my, I made a lot of effort to improve and to continue to improve as um, as we've done this on the channel, right? Never to stay stagnant, never to just be okay with where we were. And I think because of that, right, things have actually gotten better. They've gotten more enjoyable. I think the content has been more legible. And probably, uh, hopefully for you guys, has been um, understandable, right? I know when I was first filming and kind of trying to explain things and doing like subi hacks, like it wasn't always easily um, able to be seen. It was hard to kind of follow sometimes. And I really do appreciate each and one of you that shared your input that said, hey, we should do it this way. Have you tried this? Because it has helped the channel as far as, um, and the people coming to the channel as far as seeing things and being able to understand what they're seeing. Um, again, this has been phenomenal as far as the shape goes as well if you haven't been able to see i know i just go i didn't tell you about what's going to happen but the shave today is exactly why i love doing this it is close it is comfortable this was fast it is a nimble head i do feel like with the uh, um, slight polish i'm getting a little bit less drag and i'm getting a little bit more slickness but that could just be my brain telling me i didn't spend that amount of time to not have an impact, right? I know there's people out there that say polished razors versus like the standard machine factory finish, that there's no difference. I really think that if your razor's polished correctly, right? And um, if you the, the tolerances are also there, it probably should feel really, really similar. For me, I just like the that there's a little slightly, a little bit less drag. I get slight less drag to the razor and I, I actually i feel like because of that i'm less worried about the pull and the t and like the slight suction effect that it had before with the kind of machine finish and i'm, I'm able to just enjoy the audible feedback and kind of fill to the actual glide it's really great very comfortable again one of the razors from doug that I think that everybody, if you don't have it and you have most of Doug's razors, you should check it out. I really like this one a lot. One of my favorite ones from him, if not my favorite, right? I, I haven't used it as much as I have the Quantum, so I can't say for sure 100% it's replacing it, but every shave I have had has been phenomenal. It's close, it's easy, it's buttery smooth. With the Omni Base butt, um, it kind of um, helping out and adding to the glide, this was phenomenal. Will over at Barrister and Man um, never disappoints. He absolutely turns out some of the, in my opinion, some of the best soap on the market for as far as quality and as far as slickness, post shave, it's all there. Comfort for days. We're grabbing ourselves a little bit of splash here and we're gonna check it out again. The Passiflora, mm, 
That is great. That is crazy how much more spicy this is. The spicy fouchere, I really get out of the splash versus the actual soap. I, I, just, I feel like this is the true intention behind the description when you go over to Barrister and Man and read about Passiflora. This right here is absolutely beautiful. And as you know, I'm, I'm not sure everybody will notice, but I left out all the drama of 2018 right with the Passiflora. Just leave that in the past and we're just going to enjoy the soap as it is. That scent's phenomenal. Again, I really thought this was going to be going away and to see it come back and be revitalized and kind of um, just offer on, on Will's website I think is awesome I think it'd be sad to have this one disappear forever just because of some um, you know historical stuff I really 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 like that I'm adding the balm to it too just because I want to really experience both sides of the after splash and the balm I wouldn't necessarily need that today I mean my skin feels phenomenal I have tons of skin food from just the soap I wouldn't need the splash but I had it out and I left it out for a reason because I like that soap um, right now we are transitioning at our house to being completely out of boxes right we are packing everything up so I left only a few things out so the stuff you see here is stuff that I cherish and the PAA uh, metaphor it did stay out and I do love the razor right it's really a great shaver I am very excited to have had the chance to show it and kind of share it what it looks like if you were to polish it yourself take a look again oh that's cool I really like this one again this is I'm going to be offering some giveaways that will be happening shortly for all of you that have really paid tribute and paid um, time to hear and and given everything you have I want to give back right so we are going to do a giveaway before I leave um, that will be up and coming and then as far as content coming out in the future right as far as video reviews and like, any reviews just in general all my stuff's getting packed so I really don't know what I'm going to be able to do but I'm going to continue to do my best and to continue to offer stuff here as much as I can. I just don't know how what, what the um, longevity of that is and what the duration is and, you know, the cadence. I hope it's like, you know, the same as it has been, but I definitely doubt and I, I believe that there will be some sporadic um, kind of outages just based on the move itself. Thank you all again for being here. It has been a wonderful journey. I have loved doing this with everybody. I hope um, over the years I've been able to help and guide and offer expertise, and if anything, just give you my opinion on things that you are interested in. I, I like, I, like I said, I, I really hope to continue doing this. And again, I express my gratitude and thanks to all of you here. It's been awesome. I, I'm gonna get out and enjoy a perfectly B BBS beautiful, blissful shave with one of my favorite soaps, right? I love this one. Like I said, I left it out for a reason. And I'll catch you guys in our next shave, hopefully soon. I'll see you then. Soups out.